This is the Marion County Detention Center Prisoner Orientation video. There is no discrimination regarding administrative decisions or program access based on a prisoner's race, religion, national origin, gender, sexual orientation, or disability. Hello, I'm Barry Brady, jailer of the Marion County Detention Center, where we believe that incarceration can be the beginning of rehabilitation. Your success will depend upon your commitment. Best wishes. My name is Captain Mark Whitehouse. I'm the Chief Deputy at Marion County Detention Center. During your stay here, I assure you that all of your needs will be met to the best of our ability. I expect each of the personnel working at the jail to be respectful to the inmates. I expect you to be respectful toward the staff while they carry out their daily duties. This jail uses kiosk technology. This is how you can make requests of any jail personnel. The following can be completed through the kiosks available in the common areas. Video visitation, commissary purchases, sick call, grievances, staff contact, messaging family, and handbook review. Pictures can be taken and posted for family and friends to view at www.gettingout.com. All prisoners may have attorney hired or appointed access by visiting and or phoning. Advise your attorney to phone the facility to schedule a visit or conference call. In order to call your attorney unrecorded, you will need to dial 211 on the phone in your cell and leave your attorney's contact number. The introduction of contraband is forbidden as defined in KRS 520.010, including but not limited to cellular devices, tobacco products, dangerous drugs, narcotics, intoxicating substances, weapons, cameras, lighters, and other instruments which may be used to do bodily harm or facilitate escape. For security reasons, all visitors are subject to search. Any visitor who knowingly introduces contraband into this facility will be prosecuted. All prisoners are searched before entering the jail. Prisoners meeting certain criteria may be searched unclothed. Prisoners returning to the facility from outside the facility for any reason or when there has been any contact with the public are also subject to unclothed search. The prisoner rules are as follows. All living area lights and TVs will be turned off at 11.30 p.m. and turned on again at 5 a.m. daily, Sunday through Thursday. Friday and Saturday nights will be considered late nights. This means the lights and TVs will be turned off at 1 a.m. All activities will cease at lights out, with the exception of single-person quiet activities, such as playing solitaire, etc. This will only be allowed as long as the noise level is kept exceptionally low. You are expected to keep your living area clean. Cleaning supplies will be provided. Sales will be inspected daily. You are not to pass anything out of your cell to a trustee or another prisoner. The only items the staff can pass are food trays. If you are leaving your cell, you must wear your issued identification, wristband, and jailed issue clothing. Blankets, sheets, or other items are not allowed to be hung, hanging from beds, tables, or light fixtures. Unless it is an emergency, you are not to beat, bang, or knock on cell windows, doors, or yell through food passes. If you need assistance, wait and someone will help you. Your television, phone, and commissary are privileges. Any abuse of these or any other rule violation will be cause for disciplinary action. An action request area is available on the kiosk if needed. Requests should be directed to staff. You will be charged for any damaged, destroyed, or altered county-owned property. An established system for discipline and administrative procedures has been created to ensure fair and impartial treatment and due process. To view offense categories, refer to the written handbook provided on the kiosk. Marion County Detention Center is a no-cash facility. Family or friends can deposit cash to a prepaid phone account or a trust commissary account 24 hours a day at the lobby kiosk or by calling 866-516-0115. 
Visitation can be set up by your family or friends by having them call 1-877-467-1794 at least 24 hours in advance of the day and time they wish to visit. Visitation requirements to include time, rules, and visitor dress code are available to the public on our website www.MarionCountyDetention.com Prisoners may correspond with anyone outside this facility so long as their correspondence does not violate any state or federal law. Marion County Detention Center has a strict mail policy. You may request the detailed mail policy using the kiosk system. You may mail the policy to your family to ensure their correspondence with you is not returned. Prisoner-to-prisoner -prisoner mail within the facility is not allowed. All incoming and outgoing mail is subject to search, excluding legal mail, which may be inspected in the presence of the prisoner. All calls are subject to recording and monitoring. Stealing another prisoner's PIN number is considered identity theft, which is a Class C felony. Three-way calls are never allowed. Any attempt to make a three-way call will result in temporary blocking of the phone number, even if the three-way call was made by another prisoner. Once a phone number has been blocked for attempting a three-way call, the block will not be removed unless a fine of $25 is paid. Any third-party communication is considered a three-way call via computer, another cell phone, or landline phone. Meals will be served at approximately 5.30 a.m., 11 a.m., and 4 p.m. daily. Sporks and cups are collected after each meal for cleaning and sanitizing. Marion County Detention recognizes the special diets approved by the Kentucky Department of Corrections. Peanut allergy, seafood allergy, diabetic, and heart healthy alternative diet as well as approved religious medical diets. All prisoners have access to exercise and recreation opportunities at least one hour daily. Marion County Detention Center has retractable roofing systems to allow for a year-round outdoor recreation regardless of weather conditions. All prisoners are entitled to a hygiene kit when dressed out and placed into population. Personal hygiene is issued every Friday. Toilet paper, soap, and toothpaste will be provided at this time. Hand sanitizer is provided in every dorm as well as other areas throughout the facility. Upon request, any other hygiene items can be purchased through commissary. All prisoners are allowed access to the commissary if a positive balance is showed on her or his account. Items brought to the facility will not be accepted or approved. All items must be purchased from the commissary. Canteen purchases must be placed by using the kiosk machines in your cells. If you have a positive balance on your account, you will be able to access approved items to purchase. The machines will upload commissary orders on Wednesdays and Sundays weekly. Orders are returned on Tuesdays and Fridays weekly. If you owe for medical or other fees, half of your canteen credits deposits will be deducted to cover the amount owed until the amount is paid in full. Once money is credited to your commissary trust account, it cannot be removed until you are released. Prisoners are provided with storage areas for personal property. All items must be kept neat and clean inside of the approved storage area. Shoes and a laundry bag may be kept under the bed. All items that do not fit within your approved storage area will be considered excess and will be confiscated. Arrestees are allowed to keep one set of clothing to wear upon release. All other property will be kept by the jail for seven days. After seven days, the jail is no longer responsible for replacement of this property if lost or damaged. You are encouraged to have all excess property picked up or mailed out at your own expense. Prisoners that have not had a positive commissary account for 30 days will receive indigent supplies. Items include deodorant, shampoo, five stamped envelopes, three pieces of paper, and a pen. All prisoners are required to follow a strict dress code. 
you may refer to the written handbook available on the kiosk for details. The laundry schedule is posted on each cell area. You will need to have your laundry bagged and ready on your laundry day. Any prisoner housed at this facility shall be entitled to file grievances at such time he, she believes he, she has been subject to a violation of his, her rights. A prisoner grievance procedure is made available and includes at least one level of appeal. Grievable issues are listed on the kiosk accessible handbook. Grievances must be submitted within seven days of an incident or situation upon which the grievance is based. Staff member, department heads will respond within seven working days. You are entitled to one appeal which will be directed and addressed to the jailer. The jailer will respond to the prisoner within five business days. Action request forms are located on the kiosk in the prisoner's designated area. All requests will be answered within five working days. Upon a prisoner's admission, a medical receiving screening will be conducted. If a serious medical condition exists, you will be seen in the first 24 hours of arrival by medical personnel by telling an officer or caseworker. This visit will be at no cost to you. Otherwise, you will be seen for assessment purposes at no cost within 14 days of arrival. Medication pastimes will be based on medication orders and therefore dosages may be changed to accommodate medication pastimes. Further, medications may change in appearance due to generic substitutions being made. The Prison Rape Elimination Act of 2003, PREA, is the first United States federal law passed dealing with the sexual assault of prisoners. The bill was signed into law on September 4, 2003. The Department of Corrections has zero tolerance relating to the sexual assault, rape of offenders, and recognizes these offenders as crime victims. The department will immediately respond to allegations, fully investigated reported incidents, pursue disciplinary action, and refer for investigation and prosecution those who perpetrate such conduct. Offender, any individual in the custody or under supervision of the Department of Corrections or its contracted service providers. The term includes former offenders for whom less than one year has elapsed since discharge from the department custody or supervision. Employee or staff, the terms include paid employees or contracted persons, volunteers and interns who are paid or donate time or services to the department and any individual service providers, for example, delivery, maintenance, vendors, or other service providers who may not be contracted to the department. Offenders are encouraged to report instances of prison rape, sexual assault, and sexual activities. They can report it immediately to a staff member, submit a note to medical personnel during pill call, call someone outside and have them call the facility administrative staff, call the facility emergency number by dialing 911 pound sign, Submit a prisoner action request form to security staff and or write a letter to the jailer sealed and marked confidential. There are many self-help educational and religious programs offered at the Marion County Detention Center. To access the programs, you should see your assigned caseworker. Welcome to Marion County Detention Center Alpha Substance Abuse Program. My name is Brandon Wilson. I'm the program director. This is Melissa Hoisington, assistant director. Ms. Leanne Mattingly, Senior Counselor. Mr. Scott Patton, Counselor. Mr. Neil Caldwell, Counselor. Ms. Jennifer Greenwell, Counselor. Hello, my name is Tina Lee. I am the Case Manager of the 100 Block. I also teach the New Directions class. If you need to access me, you can do that through the inmate kiosk machine or when I do my rounds. Hello, my name is Jennifer Ponce. I'm the program director over the restricted custody side and currently I am the instructor for moral recognition therapy which is a cognitive behavioral therapy class that lasts six months long. My name is Stephanie Mills. I'm a restricted custody counselor. I teach New Directions which is a re-entry program. I teach the Inside Out Dads which is a parenting program for incarcerated fathers and we also offer the GED program on this side as well. 
This has been a video presentation of the Marion County Detention Center Inmate Handbook. This video does not include all details of the handbook. Your handbook is available at all times on the kiosk in your dorm area. Staff is always available to help you with your concerns if you are unable to find the answers you need.